What's up everybody? So it's summertime and it's hot and you might hear this storm brewing behind me. So during the hot summer months, it's really important to make sure that your animals stay hydrated. So you wanna make sure that they constantly have a supply of fresh water, you wanna keep your humidity levels up, and you might wanna make one or two changes to their diet to make sure that they're getting all the moisture that they need during these hot months, right? So one thing that I like to do is offer my animals a nice hornworm during the summer. Now the awesome thing is, Horms grow really fast during the hotter months and some of the pet shops that I work with will have too many hornworms because they grow so quickly and they have to get rid of them before they go bad. So these guys will give me a great deal on a lot of hornworms that I can use to feed my reptiles and keep them hydrated during these hot summer months. So today is going to be a hornworm feeding day for all of my lizards. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the video. Hornworm day. Would you like a hornworm? Oh, it's got the hornworm. Let's see if we can actually tackle this big thing. Is it too big. Is that too big for you, bud? I mean, it's mostly water. Jeez, I was hoping he would have eaten the thing by now. There we go. Good. Good boy. Good. Once these things die, they do kind of deflate, which is why that was gross. Ugh, squeezing the poop out. All right, this is probably gonna be it for you for the whole day. Ugh. Hope that poo does make him spit up. You probably won't like the taste of that stuff. Ugh. Alright, buddy. Can I just... I feel so bad for you right now. Can I just get that for you, buddy? Can I just get that for you? Thank you. No, no. I gotta get the daddy get the rest. Come here, buddy. Come on. It feels so bad that you have that on your face. Let me be a good owner. There we go. Yeah. Good, it fell off. You see, I don't lick it up. <laughs> All right. Well, you got your hornworm down. That's pretty big hornworm, bud. But you got it down. Good boy. All right, Panther, you're next. All right, Panther, the biggest ones in this bunch are going to you. Would you like this? Whoa, okay. This guy wastes no time, man. 
You know, it's funny, guys. I actually feel kind of bad for uh, insects when I feed them to a blue tongue. You know how a monitor and a leopard gecko, they'll kind of give that big, strong strike that, in a way, kind of like immobilizes the insect before it gets eaten. Blue tongues just grab it and just start shaking it back and forth like a dog. <laughs> oh, man, it's kind of funny. But they're a good part of their balanced diet, so got to give them the bugs, right? The fresh ones are the more healthier bugs, so got to go with the fresh ones. They'll be over quick enough. Man, this guy does not play. Jeez, bud. Jeez, what's up with these hormones, man? Are they all just pooping today? Oh, man. Let me just try to get that for you. So I'm just going to move it for you, bud. Oh, okay. All right. Guess if you still want it. Guess who's getting the small ones? You guys want some hornworms? You see it better when it's darker. It's running away, it's prey. Get it. Dicks, you like a punk. You're gonna lose a while. Can't boot them. Christmas, I think you need it. You need it. Yeah. Oh, you don't like it. Come on, bud, please. Come on, bud. Yeah, brother didn't want his home one. You want the home one. Oh, yeah, look at those eyes. Go get it, boy. Go get that home one. Good boy. Yeah. Good boy. Good boy, Tim. For those of you who don't know, this is my leopard gecko, not so tiny, Tim. Tiny Tim is his name, but he's my bigger leopard gecko. He's my rescue, he went through some, um, some rough stuff before he was actually in my care. 
But thank goodness now I have him and he's doing just fine. With a lot of weight, skeletal structures perfect now, no issues like that. Eating fine, running around full of energy. This is my boy. He likes walnuts. Alright guys, well I hope you enjoyed that video. I just got a confirmation email that the lighting that I needed for my Lepergesco enclosure was delivered to my house. So hopefully when I go back and check, it'll be there and then we can start the actual Lepergecko bioactive enclosure upgrade. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Have a great day. Peace.